Welcome inside the Betty Engelstead Sioux Center. Time now for another UND Insider Weekly Extra. I'm Mitch Wignis. That's the UND women's basketball coach, Travis Brewster. His team now 7-2 and two in the Big Sky Conference atop the league. Coach, you got to feel good about your chances here over the next couple weeks because you got four straight home games coming up. Yeah, it's a good opportunity for us right now. You know, uh, being able to play at home is always key. Uh, you know, we had a long road trip, so you know they're pretty excited to be playing at home. Yeah, let's talk about that road trip. A lot of uh, travel snafus, but the team came out of there with a split. Talk about your team's play over the last two games over Sacramento State and Northern Arizona. Well, you know, I think with Sacramento State, we gave ourselves a, a chance to be successful. Uh, you know, I thought we gave up a couple key uh, key opportunities away with a couple loose balls and uh, also with a couple shots we gave up. But you know, when you, you play a game, you score 104 points and don't make a field goal outside the paint other than one. Yeah. That's all right. But uh, at the same time, we wanted to win that basketball game. But you got to move forward. The next one was NAU. You know, that's what we had to focus on next. And we take care of business there and got yep. ourselves back. Nice win at NAU on Saturday, 91-83. And of course, uh, thing everybody's talking about, Matty Buck, 29th UND player to, to eclipse 1,000 points in her career. Talk about that milestone. Well, you know, I think for Maddie, uh, it, it's she's very happy and excited about it, but she's more focused on what, what we can do as a team. You know, I yeah. think uh, you see her as a player that's developed over the years. You know, I, I think that Maddie got overlooked a little bit in recruiting. I, you know, I think a lot of people knew about her in the Midwest, uh, but at the same time, you know, she's turned herself into a tenacious player offensively and defensively. She's improved her game on the rebounding end. Um, you know, I, and I think she's taken on the responsibility well of trying to put the ball in the hole. Not to be outdone, Mikaela Dyer, a sophomore transfer, she's come in, played a nice, nice game here the last few weeks. Third straight 20-point game. Talk about her game. Well, I think with Mikaela, you know, we're talking about a, a young woman that uh, lost a little bit of confidence, but transferring schools. Yep. You know, um, I think it, what you're seeing now, though, is she's starting to get used to how we play our style of basketball. I think uh, you know she's improved on the defensive end. She's got a ways to go yet, but yep. offensively, you know, she's she's tough. You know, she's got a, she's just got a knack for scoring. Coach, let's quickly preview this week. Obviously, you got Eastern Washington coming in. They were the preseason league favorite. So kind of talk about Thursday's matchup and how key it will be for you guys. Well, very dangerous team. Yeah. Uh, well coached. Uh, you know, I, I think their record does not remotely mirror what type of team they are. Yeah. You know, uh, I, I think it's one of those things, too. The reason they're picked number one, you know what, they, they, they do a good job. You know, I think the ball's bounced the wrong way a couple yep. times for them here and there. But, you know, at, at the same time, we got to take care of business. We're not in the business of healing people. You know, you come <laughs> to our gym, yeah. that's just the way it is. A lot of weapons coming back for them as well. Yeah. They're a very potent team. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so the Eastern Washington, 7 o'clock Thursday, and then Portland State Saturday, again, again 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock on uh, Saturday against Portland State. Kind of talk about what we expect to see from the Vikings. You know, very guard-oriented. Uh, you know, they have a, a key loss from other post players, but I think if you look at them, they're, they're great at getting up and down the floor. Great yep. transition team. You know, uh, it's going to be a challenge for us because I think they're two contradicting styles that we're going to play. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, Portland State does get up and down the floor, you know, and I think they do a good job attacking the rim off the bounce. And they, you know, they take some tough shots and they knock them down. Big stretch coming up for your team, Coach. Four straight home games. Come on out, support them. Thursday, 7 o'clock against Eastern Washington, 2 o'clock on Saturday against Portland State. Mm -hmm.